Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com. This is part six of our framework design and development video series. So in this part, we're going to talk about establishing a relationship with each pages. So far from part five, we are discussing about page object models, its usage and how we can create some of the object in a separate class files and also calling them in a test methods or a main methods of our Java class file. So in this part, we're going to dive even deeper to see how we can create a relationship with each of these pages. So before jumping into creating a relationship with each pages, we're first going to segregate all the action methods within each pages. So instead of writing all the operation logic within each functionalities, we can write all the operation as a method and call the method directly within each test methods. So right now the statement seems to be a little confusing. Let's jump into Eclipse and then I will explain what I really mean this statement. So, so I'm going to flip to Eclipse. As you can see here for the search functionality within a Google page, which we created in part five, I have performed some operations for searching. So I did a search of Selenium in the TXT search and then I hit the button search. So if you could see the operation here is just searching. So why don't we put this as a method within our page object instead of writing this as two lines in within our caller test method. So right now we don't have a test method while we talk about test ng then we will talk about test method is all about. But right now every caller method here is just a main method. So we'll just stick with our main method and we will assume this as a test method. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is instead of writing all the operations logic in my test method, I can move this code directly to my page object class. So I'm going to create a method here. Let me call this as public static search Google. I'm going to pass some parameters here search text. All right. And then, oops, I forgot to return a void here. All right, and then I'm going to paste this code here. So now I can remove this page since the TXT search and button search are available within this class itself. So since we have this static, it cannot be accessed. So I'm going to remove the static. But I will talk about the static and other stuff in our upcoming video series because we we may be using static in most of the cases. So this is the search Google. So right now what we can do here is if we're going to search, then all I can do is just page dot search Google. And here I can pass the value as selenium. All right. And now since we have hard coded this, I'm going to remove it to search text. All right. So this is the search functionality within a Google. So it enters the text and then it hits the search button. So we have written a keyword. Remember the keyword driven framework where we're discussing about the types of framework. We were saying the keyword driven framework. So right now this is a keyword. Now we can call this keyword search Google within our test framework anytime while we need them. And this search Google is very generic enough to type a text and click the search button, right? So this is the search functionality within my Google page and I've written them as a separate method, right? And if I'm going to perform some other operation like clicking the I am feeling lucky or going to a Google plus page or performing some, some advanced searches, then I can write all of them as a separate method within this Google home page object. What I'm saying here is this will make our calling method very clean and will focus on what functionality the test method is actually performing. So as you can see here in the Eclipse, this test method is right now very clean. So if your test method name is search Google, then you can just write these two lines of code and this does the operation. All right. Now let's write one more functionality, not just hitting the search. I'm going to do some other functionalities here. So what if I click this link? It goes to the Selenium website. I'm going to write the logic for clicking this URL, find by attribute for link text of Selenium web browser automation in our Google 
home page object so I'm going to Eclipse and then I'm going to add one more object here let's say it's public web element LNK selenium so I'm just giving it right now a name like selenium but you can change it if you want so I'm just trying to make it a little meaningful as possible so now we press control space you can see the types of uh, identification properties which we can use to identify the control so we're going to use link text here and the link text is this all right and then we will write one more method like public void click selenium and this will click the selenium link so link selenium dot click all right so now if I go back here and let's say we'll change this main method a little bit with some comments search for selenium then click the selenium website so it's page dot click selenium all right so this will click the selenium page for me and then if I click this selenium link it will take me to the selenium website so this is a different page altogether so all the objects within this page should be written in a separate class file and that's the concept of page object altogether so I will create a separate class file for my selenium object so I'm going to call this as selenium page objects and uh, hit finish all right so I'm going to create and the flow is this what I'm going to do here is once I get into this selenium website I'm going to click the download tab and then I'm going to once again click the home tab there is no home tab of course so this will take me to the home page of the selenium site back to the normal uh, landing page which we landed actually so these are two operations which I'm going to perform so this download is actually a hyperlink as you can see here so I can directly click the download so let's see what is this it says ID is equal to menu download all right so since it's href so I can directly use the link text so what I'm going to do here is web element of LNK download all right and let me set the property for this find by of uh, link text is equal to download and uh, download right okay and then I'm going to go to the home page which means I want to click the selenium HQ this icon right so not for that to be done let me create one more web element uh, it's LNK, oops, LNK home and I'm going to call this as find by off let's try it xpath and let's see how this xpath actually works so okay so this is the xpath why don't we use this under a do so this still works right okay so I'm gonna search for this particular X path and I'm gonna click this so what I'm going to do is once I click this selenium I should see this home page and then I should click the download all right so in order for that to be done I'm going to write two more methods public void click downloads and this will click the download link dot click all right and click white navigate home and it is going to be lmk home dot click all right 
so we have all these methods ready now let's go to the Google search test and now let's type something like this so of course we gotta wait for the page to load so you have to write implicit or explicit wait here so as of now I won't write this method so probably we can write it once we write a library for that so wait for the page to load so I'm gonna use thread dot sleep I know it's a bad practice but still I'm just gonna use it so I'm gonna make this thread to sleep for five seconds all right uh, it says I gotta add the declaration click download tab so since it's a different page altogether we need to create the instance for the selenium page object at the same time we need to initialize the page as we did for the Google home page right so that brings us to the initialization so again what I'm going to do here is so public selenium page object uh, so this is a constructor and here I'm gonna say web driver driver and page factory dot init elements of uh, the driver of this all right yeah, every time it brings me this so we need to create the object for my selenium page object which means obj is equal to okay let's use a meaningful name for this selenium page is equal to new selenium page object and the driver i'm going to pass this driver that's fine all right and then within the selenium page i'm going to click the download so once the download page appears then i'm going to click the home page uh, which means i'm navigating to the home page so selenium page dot navigate home okay great so this will navigate me to the home page so let's run this and see whether our test runs as expected so now it has opened the Firefox browser okay it has navigated to Google type selenium so it's clicking and it's going to the selenium site now it's again waiting for the five seconds it seems like it clicked the download and then it should click the selenium home yeah everything is done so so this is the operation which we were expecting our test to perform and everything got executed so uh, basically if you can see the code right now we are dealing with the two different pages so one is Google search home page and another one is the selenium page object so these are the two objects which you are dealing with and there are the two pages in word right so this is the relationship of our flow right now so if we go to home page if we click a selenium link it goes to the selenium page so this is the flow which we know as we are seeing in our naked eyes so how do code recognizes this relationship is there any relationship between each pages how is this code maintaining the relationship between the pages actually the code we have written now does not have any relationship between each pages so we have written all the pages but we need to somehow establish the relationship between these pages and that's the one which we are going to discuss right now establishing relationship within POM instead of just returning the void type from each action methods let's return the page object itself so that we will know how the page behaves while certain action is performed so what this statement is saying is if you see the action methods like search Google right now this Google search will returns me the Google page itself so there is no problem with the written type let it be wide itself but while we click this selenium link it returns me the selenium page so instead of returning a wide type if we return the selenium page object itself then there will be a relationship between these pages so I will expect okay this is what is my return type of this page and I should perform I should see the return type as the correct type from this method if I change the void type to selenium page object class 
and let's say I'm going to return new selenium page object all right so since we don't have any constructor for that let me go ahead and create one so this logic is not right uh, but I'm just creating as of now but once we move further in our video tutorial I will tell you how we can deal with this kind of situations even more generically using some generic methods right so let this be the return type so if I click the selenium link it will return me the selenium page object type so right now we can establish the relationship so I'm gonna copy paste this code right here and then instead of creating the object here I can straight away deal with from here itself okay let me even delete this line right so clicking the selenium website link will return the selenium website so now you have established a relationship between one page to another so right now the page is of type Google home page but the written type of click selenium is going to be selenium page object right and if I click the download then it will return me the download page actually we have to write one more page object called download but for the time being I have written all the object within the same selenium page object itself actually if you go to the selenium site you can see that within the download tab we have a lot of links here right so if I click this selenium home page you can see it has different controls or links so right now the control here is just links right even this has to be written as a separate page but we have not written it now we have established a relationship between two pages all right now if I run this test it will run fine as expected so this is the way you establish a relationship between each pages but right now this is very plain and simple while we move further with the framework development we will write a separate library for page object so that every time you perform some operation or you return a page object that will be returned to a generic page type and then from there we perform the operation so that's all guys so this is how you establish a relationship between each pages in page object model Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.